hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, pulmonary actinomycosis and uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition and you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so once you click that link it will take you to the website now i come to the topic pulmonary actinomycosis and the alternative names for this condition is thoracic actinomycosis in this uh, video i will cover uh, uh, the introduction causes risk factors or symptoms diagnosis treatment and outlook now i come to the uh, introduction first what is it uh, you know pulmonary actinomycosis is a rare bacterial lung infection and uh, it's not contagious and uh, it mainly affects the people between the ages of 30 and 60 years and it occurs more often in men if compared to women and the treatment is generally successful uh, but it can be lengthy process you know the next thing is about what are the causes now it's caused by the bacteria from the genus actinomyces uh, so these bacteria they normally live on uh, in your mouth and gastrointestinal tract and uh, uh, most of the time uh, they are harmless uh, but they can cause an infection if the if the tissue becomes damaged you know and the infection usually occurs uh, uh, after illness or maybe injury uh, like uh, a tooth abscess or maybe gum disease so the damaged tissue makes it possible for the bacteria to move to your lungs or uh, other parts of the body and uh, this can cause the harm in that case and uh, uh, mostly uh, the pulmonary actinomycosis occur when a mixture of food and the bacteria accidentally ends up in the lungs instead of the stomach uh, so inhaling food instead of uh, uh, swallowing is called aspiration so it happens due to aspiration uh, the next thing is about uh, the risk factors uh, the risk factors for this condition are dental abscesses uh, uh, or poor oral uh, uh, hygiene uh, emphysema which means uh, a lung infection and the scoring lungs from the uh, bronchitis or maybe heavy drinking you know so these are the possible uh, risk factors uh, the next thing is about the symptoms you know a fever which is uh, above 104 degree Fahrenheit fatigue shortness of breath weight loss uh, chest pain when inhaling deeply and uh, night sweats appetite loss uh, dry cough uh, with or without blood you know and uh, a cough with the uh, like uh, a phlegm that uh, uh, might contain blood uh, so these are the possible uh, symptoms uh, you know without treatment a pulmonary actinomycosis can destroy parts of your lungs so you could also develop a brain abscess or maybe brain infection which is called meningitis and uh, this is potentially life threatening and uh, other complications include uh, emphysema uh, serious bone infections called osteomyelitis so these are the other possible complications uh, the next thing is about uh, the process of diagnosis so how do doctors diagnose this condition as you know the symptoms of the pulmonary actinomycosis are similar to those other uh, of other conditions and uh, your doctor might have to uh, perform several tests to confirm the diagnosis and these include uh, uh, lung biopsy uh, bronchoscopy uh, complete blood count uh, chest ct scan or maybe mri or x-rays you know and uh, sputum culture as well and uh, thoracentesis uh, so these are the tests which uh, your doctor will order uh, lung, uh, lung biopsy is a procedure where uh, your doctor will take a piece from the lung to see under the microscope and uh, 
Uh, in case of bronchoscopy, a thin tube is used to see inside your lungs, and uh, then the complete blood count is the blood test, you know. Uh, and thus, imaging tests like X rays, MRI, uh, CT scan. Uh, so, these are the helpful tests to diagnose the condition. Now, once diagnosed, uh, uh, then the treatment depends, uh, dep uh, it may be the medications uh, and maybe surgery. Uh, the penicillin is the most common antibiotic treatment. So, it's usually given as injections uh, for two to six weeks. So, then the oral penicillin uh, is used for up to maybe six to 12 months. So, it's a lengthy process. And uh, it can take up to 18 months to treat uh, uh, for uh, a cure, you know. And if you are allergic to penicillin, your doctor will prescribe the alternative antibiotics like tetracycline, etc. You know, uh, surgery is another option, and you might need it to have the fluid surgically drained from the lungs. And this condition uh, is uh, potentially life-threatening, and the excess fluid can lead to pulmonary edema. So surgery can also repair the tissue damage in your lungs. Uh, well, the good dental hygiene uh, can help you to prevent this condition. And uh, like brush and floss your teeth twice a day, uh, get regular dental cleaning, uh, eat uh, like uh, fewer sugary foods, that don't eat too much sugary foods, you know. So this way you can prevent it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like, subscribe or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.